Caroline Jackson, I'm Product Development Manager at Bailey of Bristol and today I'm going to talk to you about the motorhome crash testing stimulation research that took place over the last 18 months. Safety considerations are of paramount importance in any motorhome design and Bailey gave a great deal of thought to this aspect of product development. As a result, the following safety features are fitted as standard to all Bailey motorhomes. ABS, EBD, driver and passenger airbags, Michelin tyres and three-point seat belts in all dedicated travelling seats. However, much of the development and testing over the years has been specific to the cab with little testing carried out in relation to the habitation area of a coach-built motorhome. A key element of any product development at Bailey is in-house testing. Members of the team are encouraged to use the vehicles to get a better understanding of how they perform. In this slide, you will see Nick Howard and Andy Linklater on holiday in two of the very first motorhomes. As you can see, both of them have young families, and consequently, motorhome safety became a key concern for us, particularly whether a conventionally built coach-built motorhome was a safe place for your family to travel. In order to establish this, Bailey contacted Millbrook Proving Ground in Bedford one of Europe's leading test and development facilities for whole vehicles, systems and components. Following their advice, we committed to a series of five tests simulating a 30 mile per hour or 50 kilometers per hour frontal impact test in the high G sledge facilities on site. We know that this is only one test of a variety that we could have done, but it was a good starting point for us with being new to motorhomes. Testing took place between March 2011 and December 2012. The exterior body shell was constructed using our patented Alutec system and the interior is built using traditional caravan furniture methods. Following the first test, it was suggested that a dummy cab was added in front of the habitation cell. This therefore gives us a better representation of an actual crash, with crumple zones in the cab providing additional protection for the habitation compartment. This slide here shows you the test facility at Millbrook. The pin in the bottom right hand corner pushes the motorhome backwards bringing it to a dead stop and although it's going backwards it does simulate a frontal impact test. There are cameras situated on the B pillar and to the side here focusing in through the side dinette window and therefore we can capture everything that happens to the four occup occupants inside. The test takes over five hours to set up, but is over in 120 milliseconds. And the force of the test peaks at over 20 g, that's 20 times gravity. I'll now show you a video of the first test showing a conventionally built motorhome involved in a 30 mile per hour frontal impact crash. So, as you can see, we had a lot of work to do. The Alutec body shell held up well throughout the test and therefore our concentration was centred more on the internal features, particularly on the furniture panels. One area of the body shell that did require rectification was the floor. On the first test, this snapped to either, either side of the ladder chassis. Therefore, all Bailey motorhomes are now fitted with outriggers on both sides and the floor is now bonded to the chassis. On the first test, the bed box is collapsed completely. You can see in this picture where the front facing passengers were sat. There's nothing left set for the seat belt frame. Therefore, all travelling seats now have anti-submarining bars, which you can see in the picture, U-shapes that are bolted to the floor and all seats, seat frames are now metal with sprung slats and Velcro on the slats stop the seats from sliding forward. On the first test, as Barry mentioned earlier, the fridge came out of the van, through where the front passenger was sat and landed five metres away from the vehicle. Therefore, we now bolt through the front of every fridge into the floor, anchoring the kitchen. 
In the first test, the side to net table became detached from the wall. Therefore, we fitted a heavy duty leg with a cast foot in the floor and we upgraded the fixings on the wall. However, the table still hit the passengers and the casting in the floor actually broke in half. And though, even though we tried many permutations of legs and fixings to the wall, we were unable to achieve a satisfactory result. And our conclusion is that it is best practice to store your table while in transit. The toughest nut to crack during testing was the bulkhead. This is the partition panel between the cab and the habitation compartment. In Alutech, this is a structural non-wooden panel and not just a piece of furniture. And we thought that this was strong enough. How wrong we were. The bulkhead snapped, forcing both the rear-facing passengers through into where the cab compartment would have been. Therefore, the bulkhead was made larger and bolted through into the floor. However, once again, it wasn't strong enough and therefore we added a brace that went from the floor in front of the aisle passenger to the back of the bulkhead. But once again, this didn't work. So we had a complete redesign of the bulkhead. You can see on the far picture, there's a metal frame that bolts into the Alutech construction. It's at shoulder stroke head height of the rear facing passenger. And the brace is now in three pieces and instead of going to the floor, it goes underneath the floor and is bolted up into it. I'll now show you the fifth and final test. As you can see, this was a marked improvement. Although we still have a bit of work to do regarding the headdress, they did their job, but they still came off. We feel that this is the first of five tests that gave us a satisfactory result. This research project is the first of its kind carried out on UK coach built motorhomes. It was five tests over a period of 18 months and cost Bailey in the region of, uh, of £40,000. Resulting enhancements are now incorporated into all relevant Bailey production models. However, given the importance of the issue, rather than trying to gain competitive advantage, the company will make the research available via the NCC to all manufacturers in the hope that this will mean safer vehicles for all, which can only be a benefit to the industry as a whole. For more information on the development story, please visit baileyalutech.co.uk. Thank you for listening. I will now hand over to Simon from Gerber Campervans.